and coach to coach, we're gonna talk about technique. Now, I know that this might seem like a given, right? You've been coaching a long time, or maybe you're just beginning, but you know skating. You know exactly how to teach what you wanna teach. Or do you? I mean, we all start coaching with technique in mind. We always wanna give the best technique we possibly can, but there's always something more to learn. There's always something more to refine about how we convey that technique to the athlete in front of us. You may be wondering, why am I standing here beside this sailboat? Well, to me, it's the ultimate reminder of technique, right? You have a boat, you have the wind, and now it's all about the set of the sail. How you set your sail is going to determine how fast you go in the water, how much energy you save, and of course, how soon you get to your desired result and outcome or destination in that case. Here's the thing. Technique is something that needs to be continually refined. And even if you know exactly what the technique should be, you might end up with a skater who can't do it your way. Haven't you had that challenge before? <laughs> I know you have if you've been coaching for a while. So as coaches, and I know you are this professional coach, otherwise you probably wouldn't be pressing the link and wanting to watch this video. Here's the deal. Ask yourself, can I refine this technique? Is there more to learn here? Or maybe, is there a better way for me to communicate exactly where I want the set of this sale with this, with this exact athlete? Trust me, this is not an easy thing to do because we all get on autopilot. We start to work on our technique at the beginning of our coaching career and then sort of take it for granted as we go. But technology changes and communication styles and of course the skater in front of you is new to the experience. What if your technique even just changed so that you could get better results quicker? That in itself would save you so much time and make your day with that athlete. So no matter what you're teaching, a jump, a spin, a piece of footwork, ask yourself, is there a better way? Is there a different tweak I can make with the set of my sale? I have to be honest, I'm kind of sharing with you one of the things I learned from Jim Rohn. He is an amazing philosopher and he was an incredible influence on my life. And when he used to say the set of the sale, he was also talking about one's attitude and how you show up in the world. And in fact, a coach like you who's super professional and wants to learn more about technique has a great idea of how to set your sale. So until next time, that is my tip to you and really just my heart opening up to let you know that it's okay to ask questions, to stretch, to keep learning, to keep growing, and even to change what you think about your technique. Until next time, coach to coach, ask yourself, how can I set my sail? <laughs>